let's discuss that workaround and uh, see the actual results let me uh, close this uh, application let me bring the uh, bring up the network data manager GUI and open the network from here you can see here from the picture we are actually uh, passing two inputs and the two inputs we are applying a weight plus some bias function summation function and a transformation function so the layer output uh, uh, once output can be uh, can be written uh, can be written as y is equal to or y1 is equal to uh, tan sync function of um, weight uh, layer one weight multiplied by the input plus a bias and the same thing uh, actually um, can be uh, applied here also with uh, instead of input uh, we have to use the layer one output so say y2 is equal to our result is equal to the dancing function of uh, lw here in in you know in this case it's represented as uh, lw in the uh, network structure and then structure so lw multiplied by the layer one output plus bias 2 uh, which is here you can see uh, and the the some uh, dancing function apply the dancing function on that so uh, we are actually writing a simulate um, simulating a simul uh, sim function basically sim function uh, uh, does the same thing for us behind the scenes since uh, simulate sim function is not supported uh, by the uh, matlab compiler so our deploy tool we have to use the uh, uh, this approach where we actually uh, split the uh, neural network in terms of the uh, number of layers and uh, use the dancing function on each of these transformation function on each of this layer so let me change first let me close this and let me change the our uh, m code so i have wrote already something like this so you can see here y1 is the layer 1 output and I am applying a dancing function and the XOR net IW um, uh, 1 gives me the layer 1 weights multiplied by the input plus XOR net uh, dot bias 1 gives me the bio first layer bias so adding this and applying a dancing function we will get the layer 1 uh, output and then applying the layer 1 output here and uh, the weights of layer 2 multiply plus uh, bias of layer 2 and applying a dancing function here so we get the results so we actually simulated the sim function now let me convert this um, using the uh, deploy tool let me build this application once again now the compilation is completed now we have a new assembly which contains the uh, changes uh, related to the uh, uh, my xornet which uh, app uses the tansic function or, or removes the sim function dependency with our m code now let me uh, open my project Microsoft uh, Visual Studio project C sharp application let me build solution once again let's clean and rebuild now clean and rebuild and start the application again so we have got sim now you can see the result here uh, which is same as the uh, MATLAB result we have tried 0 0 you can see here result let me arrange these windows so you can see the same result so we actually got around with the problem with the sim function 
and uh, we actually uh, simulated the sim function itself now let's try with some other input 0 1 now this time 0 1 with 0 1 click on sim button okay we got the answer of one now uh, please note that when we recompiled uh, or rebuilt our uh, modified version so we have to um, rebuild our c-sharp financial project so that it picks up the latest assembly from the uh, location uh, where it refers basically that location is uh, under this district folder so you have to clean and rebuild the project in order to pick up the uh, latest assembly I hope uh, this screencast uh, gives some idea about the uh, neural network toolbox as well as uh, how we can use the uh, neural network toolbox in C sharp application and uh, waiting for your feedback thank you very much hope you do see you soon bye